Hi everyone, I'm Simon Kong. I work for GVD, Genius Vision Digital. We are a professional manufacturers, software developer for IP surveillance backend solutions. Today, it's my honor to introduce you a very advanced solution called VMX. VMX stands for Advanced Central Management Systems and the Video Wall Solutions. So let me start from beginning, introducing you the VMX. Okay, so first of all, you can see four monitors. This, mo form, uh, this monitor shows the CCTV console. So whatever you see on the CCTV console monitor is exactly the same for the monitor, monitors on the video wall. So we can see that the first monitor has a 4x4 four four view. So if I click this block on the TV console, you can see it's exactly the same as this monitor. And if you click the second monitors, this is a 4x4 four four view. It is exactly the same as the second monitor on the TV wall. And also you can see from the third one, this one is offline. So you cannot see any images right here. So whatever you see on a CTTV console, exactly the same, same you see on the TV wall. And this is help you a lot to convince your controls and configurations of the whole video wall. So on the, on the left hand side, you can see there are two cameras. It's called channel three. And if I choose one of the channels, and I enlarge this monitor, monitor one. Then I can drag and drop these cameras and put it right here. So you can see the camera images on the CCTV monitors. And you can see also the same images on the monitor on this video wall. We can try on the second monitor too. If I enlarge the second monitors, I can put the camera too, right here, drag and drop. And you can see the images both on the CCTV console and on the video wall, here, right here. Okay, then you can see uh, how we can put the cameras on, on the video wall. First, we can choose, for example, monitor one. And you can see that there are there is a channel three right here, and there are two cameras right here. So what you can do, I can drag and drop the video right here. Then you can see the PTZ camera images both on the CD console and both both on the video wall. So since this is a PT cameras, let me start to operate these cameras. First of all, if I if you keep the PDD functions, and you can see that there's a pink arrow, that if you click this on this, you it will continuously follow your direction for pen and tail very smoothly. Okay, and also if you want to see a playback video, well I can choose. For example, this is a 10 second playback. So if I click this, then it will play back from the 10 seconds earlier. Okay, and I think I can also backward playback too. Or I can go back to the live video. Yeah, so this is a camera image from the city console and the video wall. And also I can change the video pattern, how to display how many cameras I can display on this pattern. For example, I can choose, for example, like a 4x4 four four images. Then you can see the images showing 4x4 four four on the console and also same as on the video wall. So if I stand inside the control, I can very easily to configure and display and operate the monitors on the uh, video wall. The next powerful function is called camera tech management. 
So let's go back to the channel tree about showing all the cameras right here. And you can see that uh, there are two cameras and showing a different identity. For example, this camera is PDZ cameras and it's installed on the seventh floor. Okay, and also the second camera is also a PDZ camera but it's installed in the finance department. So let's use a tag to do this kind of search. Uh, first of all, you can see a filter right here. Click on the filters and choose PDZ and seventh floor. So you can find out there's only one camera which meet both the standards, these cameras. And then we can immediately drag and drop this camera on the monitor one. So you can see that it's showing on the monitor one immediately. This is a powerful channel camera tech management.